Hello. How's everyone doing? Uh-oh. I already got a plug in. Ay 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 ay. Sorry, friends. Okay. <clears throat> Just gonna hang out for a moment. I'm getting this up on another device so that when I'm painting, I can see all your lovely comments. It's so hard to believe that it's here, that it's today, right? I don't know, I just feel like I've been waiting forever for this book to launch. I've been so excited seeing everyone's um, comments about, you know, shipping notifications and all that kind of fun stuff, so yay. All right, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Okay, cool. All right. So what I thought we would do today, <clears throat> there she is. Um, yay, I know it did seem like forever. Thanks, Brooke. Yours, oh, yours is there today. Oh my gosh, that's so fun. <laughs> Hello from Guatemala. Oh my gosh, what time is it in Guatemala? I'm clueless. So yeah, I thought we would just chat. I'm happy to answer questions. Um, hello. <laughs> you guys are so sweet. <laughs> of course I start a day of lives okay without my phone being fully charged because you know that's just the way i roll <laughs> oh my gosh mm. um <clears throat> so i'm going to paint and um i'm gonna paint from the book i'm gonna we'll do a flip through because why not it's launch day we gotta do a flip through and i'll um We'll see what we want to paint from the book. And yeah, I just want to have a good time. I want to answer your questions. And I know some of you might have some questions about the brushes and the palette. Um, just to give you a little idea. Because I just, you know, I never in my life did I plan to launch a book that has been in the works for two years um be almost launching my paintbrushes on Amazon and I don't know if you've been following along on TikTok but to be desperately um trying to make the the difficult and scary decision to kind of hit the order button on the palettes um within the next like week or two so just to give you but I think I think all three of these, I kind of feel like, you know, God is telling me this is your moment. Like you felt like you missed the moments all the other times, all the other years ago. But I kind of feel like he's telling me this is your moment, but it's going to be scary. But anyway, I'm so glad you're here for all of it. So if you do have questions about the brushes and you do have questions about the palette. I am going to paint from this palette today because why not? Um, if you haven't seen this before, <laughs> this is it. Now, these are not the colors. Um, when I ordered this custom prototype, um, they sent me like 60 some colors to choose from and they just loaded up this one prototype with all the pinks and the yellows. I don't know why. Um, so, so the story with the palette, since I'll be painting with it today, is that I just found out a few days ago that, um, so normally when you ship your product to Amazon, 
it takes like a week or two for them to check in everything and get it all to where it needs to be. When it comes to fourth quarter and holiday, it can take like a month or two. So they're basically telling me that if I want to guarantee or at least have a good chance of having these pallets available for Christmas delivery, that I need to get them checked in by October or in October. I heard someone yesterday say she sent her product in last year in September and it didn't get, she couldn't launch until November. So even if I do this, even if I go for it, I may still not make holiday, but that's okay. Um, I'm probably gonna go for it. I'm gonna go a little broke, but I'm gonna go for it. Anyway, let's talk about the book. Um, friends, uh, I know there's a, there may be a lot of new folks here. I, um, this channel has been starting to, to kind of get crazy again in the last, um, uh, honestly, the last like week and a half, a lot of new subscribers. So many, I think like 600 new subscribers, something crazy. So if you're new here, hello, my name is Christy Rice. I've been babbling about things that maybe you have no idea about. So I apologize for that in advance for doing it more because I may do it more. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. Um, so I am obsessed with watercolor <laughs> and I believe that I, um, God put me on this earth to teach you how to make art for joy's sake. And I don't take that lightly. Um, you know, I, I'm not curing cancer. I am not um, saving lives. But I do feel like I am fulfilling my purpose. And so I'm so uh, grateful that you're all here for it. And um, I've written a bunch of books, illustrated a bunch of books, whatever you want to call it. And this is my 10th book. And she is shipping today. Oh, you've been here since before the pause. <laughs> yeah, the great pause. <laughs> um, so this is my 10th book, um, How to Make Art for Joy's Sake, Free Spirited Watercolor. And um, a lot of people are calling this kind of the, the Bible of watercolor, which is just such a lovely distinction. So thank you. Um, and, uh, you know, it's a book full of, of goodies. If you've never painted before in your life you can start with this um the first uh few sections literally walk you through the basics uh and so yeah i i'm just still baffled by the fact that this book happened and that it's number 10 so it's just insane um so tell me what questions you have about the book because i know Many of you, if not all of you, are waiting um, for your book to arrive today or in a few days. So um, if you have questions, let me know. Um, and just know that I am going to be flipping the camera around fairly soon to start painting. So, and as promised, friends, I'm going to be giving away a book today. And I'm also going to be giving away a set of brushes. So let me show you. You're like, what do you, what do you mean brushes? I don't understand. So... Let me open them up. These are my brand new brushes. Just arrived last week. They come in a little zippered pouch and they look like this. They're a set of six brushes specifically designed for watercolor and acrylic. They are literally all you will ever need. Oh, thank you, Jade. Yes, reviews. If you, if you When you receive your book, please write a review. Reviews are huge on Amazon. Huge. So if you uh, feel so compelled, I would love it. Um, so these are the brushes. Whoop. And I am going to be giving away a set of brushes today. You have to be live, so hang out. Stay with us. Um... And the cool thing about the winner of these brushes is that you're going to have these brushes in hand. You're going to be painting with these brushes. Um, thank you, Rachel. Uh, about probably about three to four weeks before anybody else in the world. So that's pretty exciting. You have four chances today. I have four lives. 
I'm here right now. Um, at two o'clock, I'm on Facebook. Oh, hi, new subscriber, yay. Two o'clock on my Facebook group, which is um, Art for Joy's Sake with Christy Rice. Hello. Um, four o'clock, I am on Instagram live. And then 9 p.m., I'm on TikTok. Every single live, I'm going to be giving away a book and brushes. Yeah. So um, you have four chances to win. Okay. And it's going to be simple. I, I do simple, simple giveaways. I don't make you jump through hoops, but you do have to be present and pay attention. Oh, I've inspired you to start painting again. Thank you. Okay, so it's about that time. I'm going to flip this camera around. Woo! And let's get to it. And keep those questions rolling in, friends, okay? Um, this, um, this live will be saved. You'll be able to re-watch it if you want to paint along once your book arrives. I would actually suggest doing that. Super fun. It's a great way to learn. Um, you know, I, I feel like it's kind of like a really cool um, kind of layered effect to, to education. So you'll have your book in front of you. You'll have me in your ear. You'll be able to fast forward, rewind, pause on the rewatch. So definitely make some time for yourself to do that. But right now we're having a party and it's just fun. And I feel like I need to put some music on. So I'm going to flip this camera around. Um, y'all can answer that question. Well, so the books that you can, I'll answer it. The books that you can paint in. So like the painterly days, um, I have one here. Painterly days and Christie's cutting garden. These bad boys with the pages in that you can paint. These are a hundred pound um, watercolor paper. And it's kind of like an in-between. It's like not smooth, but not really rough. It's like an in-between paper. So, okay, friends, I'm going to flip around. Bear with me. I am going to try to cover up the camera. So I, I wish I were fancy. I feel like I there's a way for me to have like, hello, two cameras and all the things, but I don't, I don't have all the things. So here we go. That's a lovely noise. I kind of feel like I want to put this in a different, I have a different holder. And I kind of feel like I'm, you guys bear with me, okay? Because I, I want to do this differently. So do it. <laughs> Because I really want this to be a lovely experience for you. Mm. Don't know if I can do it though. Sorry, Bye, friends. Friend. Yes, I know. Orientation is locked. Yeah, my phone's being angry at me, so I'm not going to be able to do what I wanted to do. All right. Sorry if I made any of y'all seasick. <laughs> I don't have the fancy equipment. I just don't. And I'm going to... Um, Get back to all your questions. I'm seeing them. I'm not ignoring them. I'm going to be going back. And here we go. I think this will be a better. Yes. Up higher. Can really see what's going on here. All right, friends. Tell me how that is looking for you. Good on my 
other device. Oh, it actually looks really good after all that crazy town of me shaking the screen and all the things. Okay. Looks good, looks good. I love the artwork on the front cover too. I'll tell you a little bit about it. All right. All right, I'm going back. I'm just gonna um, answer some questions. Aaron, I'm so excited about the brushes in the book. You've inspired me to start painting again. Oh my gosh, Jade. I You said you messaged me earlier and said you cleared your teaching schedule and that just, wow. You can get the book on Amazon. Take out your watercolors, friends. Do it, do it, do it. Pull the trigger on the palette. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, you got your first vaccine shot. Yes, well, I'm glad. I'm telling you, my second shot, I did not feel well for half a day, but it came and left as soon as, as quickly as this, it came. So feel better, feel better. Yes, this is a, exactly. This is more of a how-to. It's not a paint in. Right, 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 right. Um, I love that there's vaccine chat in, in the, um, in the comments. I love that. You know, it's a personal decision. Uh, you know what? While we're talking about it, why not? I got Moderna. I got it back in March. Um, and got a little fever and felt kind of junky for about 12 hours and that's it. Anyway. Got you know their colors, your painting book that comes with the dagger brush and cards look so yummy, looks great. Yes, yeah, and I was tired. Yes, fatigue. Hello, Moderna buddies. Yes. Um, I never use masking fluid. I I don't know. Me and masking fluid just don't get along. I just don't get it. I tried it. it I always think it's gonna be fun, and then it just doesn't function well in my brain I don't know but I um either use the white of the paper or I use uh, gesso a lot all right friends here she is let's do a little flip through oh hello hit the camera of course all right so the liner artwork oh my gosh I love it so much and look at that, also by Christy Rice. Those are all my books. That's crazy. Crazy. Learned a new thing already. Yes, friends, I love gesso. I'm gonna use it a little bit today. Um, this is the, um, the contents. This book is big, y'all. It's big. Big book. Big, big, big. I think the quarter inch dagger is permanently attached to my hand. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys are funny. So we get into prep. Um, since we do have some, some newbies here, um, I want to just explain. It was really important for this book and the way that I wrote the text. Uh, for it to feel like right now, like I was speaking to you, not like I was trying to write about how to make art because there would be a disconnect, right? Yeah, the spiral bound, it's crazy, it's so good. Um, that was a that was a non-negotiable, it had to be hardcover, spiral bound. And so when I wrote this, some of you have heard the story, thank you for being patient while I tell it again. Weird, surreal, my hands, my hands. <laughs> So when I wrote this, I actually did speech to text. I had uh, two phones. I was taking photographs with one phone and then um, I was doing speech to text. So literally as I painted in this book, as I painted through, I was just talking. I was talking like I would to you now. So when you read this book, um, you're gonna feel like you're not reading a how-to, hopefully. It's gonna feel 
more like you're just kind of hanging out with me and we're just, you know, having a conversation about how to make art. Thank you. Thank you, Aunt Elsie. Aunt Elsie, should I call you Aunt Elsie? Because that's like your YouTube name, but should I call you something else? Yes, exactly. <laughs> negative painting. Yeah, I can definitely do a video on negative painting. Absolutely. I love that. Okay, got it. So another fun little thing in the book are these little call outs. So anytime you see this like forest green watercolor in the corners, this is like my little note to you. So this is in the section about creating a watercolor palette. And this one says, make sure one of your palettes in your arsenal is a Crayola. And then I go on to explain like why, because you're probably like, wait, I should have Crayola watercolors. Yeah. So I do believe everyone on this journey should have a set of Crayolas just so you can know that you don't have to always be fancy to make good art. Can you send me some of your incredible energy? I love it. Oh my gosh, that's funny. I love it. Thank you. Um, yeah, so, okay, so here is where we start with the basics. I teach wet on wet. And you'll notice, you're like, wow, that's a lot of text for wet on wet. But it's by design because I want those who are complete beginners to feel really, really freaking comfortable starting out with this, right? And so in the beginning of the book, there's a lot of text, there's a lot of detail, and the step-by-step -step is extremely specific. As you go on in the book, you'll notice there's less text. Because as you go on in the book, my hope for you, my prayer for you is that you're more confident and that you trust yourself more. So, <laughs> so I don't find it, I want in the, in the later parts of the book, you'll notice it's not that I'm instructing you less, it's I'm giving you more freedoms. So I'm still giving you everything you need in the latter parts of the book, but I'm, I'm forcing you in a way to, to make more decisions, easy decisions, decisions that aren't stressful, but decisions just the same. Thank you about the nails. I'm glad you can't see them up close because I'm due for a redo and they are chipped and a little bit scary, so. Yeah, thank you, oh my gosh. Yes, this book is very, Nancy, this book is very different from the others. Um, uh, my other books are all paint in books, as someone said, and I think that's a great description. Um, my other books do have some like instructional stuff in the beginning, right? Like this. Um, but then, and they have a little bit of like inspirational stuff, but then it's all about painting in them, right? Um, and then my Art for Joy Sake journal, which I have here some way off. Here it is. This one started to deviate a little bit. This one was a little bit more like inspirational, creative mindset, um, how to have a painting party, exercises, but also still paint in. This book, the book launching today, is literally meant to be the next step in your creative journey because this book is really about running with everything that you've learned so far and seeing where it takes you. Yeah. Gems and rocks. Yes. Gems and rocks. That's right. You did see gems and rocks. So I use one brush in this book. Now this book was done before my Art for Joy Sake brush was developed. So you're going to be seeing this black brush in this book. That's my only sadness about this book. But you know, we're on a journey and I just wasn't there yet. So I paint with the quarter inch dagger throughout the entire book and I use different palettes. I don't specifically talk about the palettes all the time in this book because I don't want you to be feeling like you have to go out and get the palettes that I use. You use what you have, you use what you love, and that's it. <laughs> Thanks so much for being here, friends. My name is Christy Rice. If you're just hopping on, I know we've had a bunch of new folks pop on. We are doing a flip through of my book that launches today. It starts shipping today from Amazon. 
Um, and yeah, we're gonna do a giveaway here in a bit. I'm gonna paint a little bit in the book. We're gonna have a good time. So this is a section of the book where, I mean, we're already having a good time, right? Right? I mean, you made it through the worst part of this video, which is always the worst part of my YouTube lives, which is me trying to figure out my camera and you, you all getting seasick in the process. So we made it through that. Anyway, I <laughs> digress. So this is a section of the book that is probably one of my favorites. It's where I paint the same thing twice. The first time I paint it following the rules of watercolor. And then the second time I paint it breaking the rule. And so I love that. I love that. Um, and that's really at the heart of, of what I teach. You know what I mean? Like, I, I think it's really important for you to, you know, quickly and efficiently learn the rules. But then here's where we paint. So it kind of goes through. So just to give you an idea of the structure. Rule one, and then you go through step one, two, three. How many steps? We went to eight. No, we went to nine. And then it starts over. So you know in the sections when the counting starts over, and now you're painting, breaking the rule. So what rule, I forget, what rule were we painting here? The rule was start with your light colors first. So I, I did a painting with the light colors first. See, light, building up, building up, building up. And we landed here. In this painting, I just went boom, right in with the dark colors. And we landed here. Look at that. Just as lovely, different, just as inspiring, both very impressionistic landscapes, very kind of um, somewhat abstract, but not one's not better than the other. This one follows the rules, this one doesn't. And we do the same thing for flowers. And we do rule number three, never use white. Did you all know that that is a rule of classic watercolor that you should always use the white of the page? not bring in, you know, mixed media, right? Hello from Arizona. Hi, Colleen. Can I see you on Skype somewhere? I'm not the very hip hop. Skype? Yeah. Um, yay. So yeah, you're not supposed to use white. Well, boo-hoo on that. So I paint the strawberry using the whites of my paper but then I show you what it looks like using some white watercolor, because um, why not? And really, they look the same. Mm-hmm. Anyway, we'll keep going. Uh, I talk about how to have little stashes of paint all around you. Uh, so I make these little trays or cups full of supplies um, and I encourage you to put one in your car, in your kitchen, in your living room, in your bedroom, wherever it is so that you're always ready. And then this is the exercises section, friends. Yeah. The book is shipped. Woohoo! <laughs> uh, so yeah, we talk about how to use the dagger, the only brush I use in the book. Talk about muscle memory, color mixing. Y'all know my feelings about color mixing. I just posted a video on it and people seem to be really enjoying it or it's stressing them out. But um, I mix on the page. This is a great exercise to learn how to just let colors be and let them do their thing on the page. Texture development, and then we do a pattern. 20 leaves. I'm going to flip through ahead a little bit. Show you how to paint flowers from start to finish. I have these little charts all throughout the book. These are very important. The, the thing I love about this book, when I spoke to the publisher, I said to them, it was really important for this book to just be extremely dense and robust on content. Because I I wanted the books, content, the layout, everything to feel like me. And I'm kind of a more is more type of gal. And I wanted people to not just feel like they got the whole book when they flip through it one time. I want you to feel like you have to immerse yourself in this book. And so 
be on the lookout. There's all types of information, charts, encouragement layered into these pages. Um, oh, thanks, Nancy. <laughs> what kind of flowers? Um, in the book, we honestly, I do, um, in the book, I just paint kind of transitional, what I would call transitional flowers. So they're not, I don't do, it's not, this isn't a flower painting book per se. Um, Jenna Rainey has a great book for that. She's awesome. This is more a technique book. So I do more transitional flowers like these like five petaled, six petaled, you know, daisy like blooms. We do a lot of that. We do some fruits. But everything you learn in this book is designed to be, you take it and you run with it. And you run with it in the direction of subject matter that you are excited about. So you can take all of what you learn here and you can apply it to solely landscapes. You can apply it to portraits. You can apply, you can apply it to so many things. Uh, Jade says, after painting by the rules for so many years, I was beginning to lose the joy, but after taking your workshop, I've been so happy again with the painting process. Oh my gosh. Oh, thank you, Jade. Love that, that's beautiful. Do a landscape. Friends, I never profess to be a realistic painter. I can paint realistically. I do a little bit of it in this book. This is about as realistic as I get here. Um, I can get more realistic. It's just not what makes me happy. So I don't do it. Um, so this book is the, the style that I'm using is more impressionistic. But at the same time, remember, if you are seeking and you are challenging yourself to be realistic, this book is still going to help you because this book is going to help you discover your own style with under that realism umbrella, so to speak. Bye bye rules. Bye bye. Uh huh. I knew what you meant. I knew what you meant. See more little charts. I show you like.
Can y'all hear me? Okay, so now you have sound, but no picture. What is just so unbelievably strange because on my device, I see everything. Anything? Let me know, friends. I'll tell you what, YouTube is so buggy with lives. Streaming is black magic. All right, friends, it looks like I'm going to have to hop off and start again um, because I don't even know what to say. Doesn't make any sense. YouTube, boo-boo on you. So buggy. All right, I'm going to start up again, friends. Um, yep. Hang tight. Come back on.